Here is my shifter stick for racing games. It's got eight slots. It centers around these two, so you can use most games with the six ones. But if you're playing a trucking game or something else, you have two extra over here. The stick stays in position and when you release it, it returns to the middle between 3 and 4. It's returned by a rubber band and retained by just these gates. They have little bumps that retain the stick shaft. They might be tight at first, so you can use some snippers to you know shave them off a little bit. The slots all have a switch like this, a micro switch. I went for the long ones, so all of these have one, right? And when the stick is in the slot, this Arduino here just reads that info and it works as a gamepad device so no driver is needed and you can assign these to work as your shifter in any game you want as an extra I also made a handbrake this is as simple as it gets it's just a stick on a screw and this other screw just decides uh, where the stop end stop is. And it's being pulled by this rubber band. And uh, for the switch, I just bent one of these ones into shape and hot glued it on so you can drift your rally car if you want to. This is connected to the Arduino the same way. I added a little plug here so you can remove it too so all of them are soldered through here the whole thing goes together with m3 machine screws so just get one of these boxes a bunch of these switches nine i guess and a rubber band and the arduino if something's gonna break i think it's gonna be this shaft so what you can do is try and print this laid down on the print bed, so it'll be stronger. I do not think these fingers here are going to break easily. Uh, yeah, maybe you should uh, be smarter than I, I was and mount this Arduino maybe inside here <laughs> instead of uh, hot gluing it on here. To mount the devices to the table I've used these um, microphone stand clamps these ones you can use it whatever G clamp you have these ones are a few dollars on eBay I just glued the switches in place depending on the length of your switch feeler you might need to extend the feeler or maybe you want to have the switches higher up so that the uh, stick interfaces with them, the shaft, right? To assemble the shifter, first you must assemble the universal joint there. Here is a model of it. So this is the shaft, has a Y piece to it. Then there's a small joiner piece. You need four screws for it. And this U, U piece would be the base. Here. These side plates, you need two of these. Get your switches, glue them in the slots like that, solder it all together to your microcontroller, all the grounds together, and the normally open pins to pins 2 to 10, I believe, of the microcontroller. Maybe find a better place for the microcontroller. 
to hot glue down onto then uh, right there but for me this works fine then screw on the side plates there's plenty of screw holes here use which one whichever ones you like then you get a rubber band put it through the middle of the shaft on your model there'll be two slots here to you know hook it up to like this right this will center the shaft right here and you put the gate on again there's plenty of screw holes just use whichever you like and after that you'll put your knob on there's some screws here there's two positions you can have it quite high or all the way down and, and just screw it on a little bit maybe add some glue in there I had some I, had, I did some tape I think your version should be a bit tighter handbrake is super easy just print this shaft laying down for maximum strength put on the knob you use one screw for the hinge and this other one just goes into one of these holes whichever you like for the uh, stopping end stop for the switch I just bent one of these switches into place you could you know hack it together with some rubber band again if you want to so whenever this shaft goes far enough the switch triggers and this is carried over to the microcontroller with this cable